infected. What? What does that mean? Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What is going on? I have no idea. Someone must be reading those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. What are those uh, numbers and letters on the cardboard? Still nothing moving behind cardboard. us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Exactly a welcome banner. What the hell? Is this thing still moving? Great. Needs a quarter to work. Why the hell would I shoot the walkers? This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. What the hell are these markings? The 
They're all over the place. Ah. Bizarre. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Damn it. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Better just let him do his thing. Okay then. Really? Why do they even have this as an option to go down here if there's nothing down here? Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Don't know. Someone already looted the place. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Take a few hours, not weeks. What is he smoking? I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned. Every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. Well, that's helpful. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. No sign of any boats down there. What am I supposed to be looking for? Who the hell is that? What the hell?
Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. What the hell is she doing here? You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. <laughs> I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks. Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Well, 
What exactly did Crawford do with all these birds? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! Make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Wouldn't they drop down? That answers my question. Behind Clementine, you. can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh boy. Wouldn't Shit. Ooh, dead rats. I think. Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Yeah, I can't go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, 
zombies. It's a drainage pipe. Righty tidy lefty loosey. Don't turn anymore in that direction. Damn you. What? Oh, there we go. I like, I like how he can hold everything in his back pocket. It's pretty, pretty cool. Chuck. No way I could pick that up on my own. What the hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Fallout New Vegas. Fallout. I don't know. Look at all this. 
It's enough to keep people alive for months. Wonder if someone's living down here. Oh my. <laughs> Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. If he's a doctor, I can have him help a mead. Right? Right. 